I'm going to quickly show you what each little thing means right here. Um, I want you to click the link below if you're interested in Flowdesk and collecting emails. You can get 50% off. So just click the link below and you can join Flowdesk 50% off, which I'm not even paying that price. So you're welcome. Okay. So like I said, we went ahead and we created our free product right here. Okay. We went into Canva. We created a beautiful product that our clients need. That's totally free. That's going to teach them the thing that they need or the thing that they want, like a checklist, a guide, a style guide. Um, this is something that I offer you guys. And that is all about a personal brand. You can do, um, a Bible study, just go back to your ideal client profile and figure out what it is that they need and create a free version of that. So I created this in Canva and I went ahead and downloaded it as a PDF and saved it to my desktop right here. Okay. So that is step one is creating the, um, freebie. Okay. The free product. All right. So when you get your flow desk, this is all going to be empty, especially if it's your first time. Um, this is, they actually keep every single email sent right here in here. You can also create folders. I haven't done that yet. If you want to organize your emails into folders, um, to create a new email, you just come over here and you click new email. They have all kind of templates for you, which is really, really nice that you can just kind of like plug in your words, plug in your links. If you want to send them to your website or your shop or Shopify, your HoneyBook, you can send them there. And it's very, very simple. All right. But this video is all about how to get people in here, right? How to collect emails. All right. The first thing that you're going to do is you are going to go to audience and you're going to click segments and you're going to create a new segment. Okay. This is how you organize your people and you know where they're coming from. So let me quickly go back to my segments. These are people from my Facebook group that come into my Facebook group and they give me their email. I put them into this segment manually. Um, one on one business intensives, these, so I know that, okay, I have 40 subscribers who really liked the business workbook. I've got, um, 16 subscribers that like the start your business checklist. I've got 65 subscribers that are in the Facebook group. So you're really able to see like where your people are coming from and what they want the most of 58 subscribers in the podcast group, 79 subscribers in the Bible study community. So it's a really good, um, marketing tool as well. And you just keep your people, keep all of your people organized to know who got what, what they wanted and such. So click new segment. You can enter, um, the name of, you know, maybe your product. So let's just do, you know, build your brand. You can select a color, you can save it. And here's the new segment. Okay. The reason why you need to build a segment is because, when you go to your forms and make a form, here are all the forms that I have. This is what collects the emails. If I go to new form right here, and I always like to go, there's the pop-up you can put onto your website, an inline, um, which is like the bottom of your website or at the top of your website. I always like to just get the full page. All right, customize. The first thing they're gonna ask is what segment what group of people is coming into this form? All right, so I already built my segment. And so I'm going to do the build your brand segment. All right, and I'm gonna make this very short and sweet. So you can title it, um, build your brand workbook. And then you can write a compelling like, you know, do you need to build your brand? This is basically enticing people to sign up. All right. And then you can, okay, are we downloading? Are we going to a website? We're going to be downloading this specific thing because it's a PDF. We're going to change the color. Um, this also gives you an option to put a picture. So what I like to do is I like to come here and do a simple screenshot. If you have a Mac, the screenshot is Command Shift 4. And then you can take a picture, a screenshot of your product. Okay. And then what we're going to do 
is now it's going to save to my desktop. I'm going to upload an image. All right, there's the screenshot. And it's going to go right here. And so it's a nice little graphic of what they're getting. OK, all right. So now we're going to hit next. Do you want to do a double opt in? This is like if they say, yes, I want the book, the the free guide or whatever. If you say yes, they're going to have to opt in twice. I typically do no because again, it's recommended for conversion. People want quick and easy. So don't do anything that's going to make them do more than they have to. All right. So no, we don't want the double opt in. When subscribers opt into this form, do you want to be notified or not? I like to be notified because I like to see who's opting in and how many people are opting in every day. Um, after this form is submitted, what is next? You can display a success message or you can redirect them to a URL. Meaning like if you just want them to um, go check out your website, you can direct them here. If you want them to go directly to um, a podcast page or a Facebook group, I, I do have that, the Facebook group, you can put that d direct URL here or you could just do a sub display a success message. All right, and so we're gonna just go to continue. All right, here is your form. This is where you can share it to Facebook, to Twitter. You can view your form live. You're gonna copy this. This is going to put your form wherever you want it. And then you can view, here's your form, okay? And people are able to type in their name and it's going to collect their email address. Now. To give, to make it so that they can um, collect the download, what you're going to have to do is create a workflow. Okay, so we made the audience, we made that segment, the builder brand people, we created the form. Now we, what we want to do is create a workflow. Okay, and the point of this is to make sure that when a subscriber is added to that specific builder brand segment that they get their um, download, okay? So they have templates here that you can use. Um, there's the welcome sequence, the nurture sequence. This is like the, the multiple e emails that are sent after they get their thing. Or you can just start from scratch, okay? So we'll do the build your brand workflow. And once you do this once, um, you'll be able to do it 100 times. I know this can probably look overwhelming. Okay, so what happens that's going to trigger the workflow to go? All right, a subscriber is added to the build your brand workflow, the little form that we used for um, the build your brand PDF. Okay. So when a subscriber enters their email into this segment, into the form, then you get to choose what happens next. Okay. So we're going to go to this plus right here. We're going to send them um, an email that they're going to get immediately. We're going to create an email and what you can do is, um, so we're sending a freebie, right? So let's go to, here we go. About that freebie, I promise. This is one that I like a lot. You can customize this. And what you're going to do is you're going to create this email, okay? You can use the same image that you used for the workflow or for the form. Um, you're able to add images here. You just click and add whatever you want. You can add a, you know, thank you. Here is your uh, free workbook. All right, you can write, write whatever you want. All right, so here's where you actually put the workbook, okay? So download the guide. We're gonna come here to link. Okay, we're going to attach file. This is where you attach the workbook. And there it goes. And it's there. So now when they opt into this segment that, that they typed into the form, right? 
So where's that form? Here's the form. Okay, so they see this form, they type in their name. This workflow is going to trigger this email to go straight to their inbox where they come here and then they click here and then they get their um, workbook, okay? All right, so you're gonna edit all of this. You're gonna finish. You're going, so here we go, double checking. When a subscriber is added to the Build Your Brand segment after they've entered their email here, what's gonna happen is they're gonna get an immediate email that's going to deliver the guide, okay? Now, you can continue on and on and on, set a time delay for one day later, send them another email, but for timing purposes, we're gonna just stick with this, okay? So this is where we're going to end the workflow here. All they're gonna do is here. Again, you can write 52 emails that they get every week um, after they opt into this form. And that's something that's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's worth doing if you want to sell your products, okay? We're gonna just go ahead and publish for the sake of time. Um, all set, click the button below to click to take your workflow live. Publish now. All right, so your my, our workflow is live right here. So that means when you post this link, the form link to your Facebook, to your Instagram, to your website, wherever you wherever you have it, and they put in their email address here, it's going to take them through this journey where they get to collect their workbook. Okay? So, I hope this makes sense to you. I hope this um, is beneficial for you. That's how you start collecting emails. And when you give freely, people respond to you. When you're generous, people respond to you. And you're able, within a couple years, to get 11,000 subscribers. It takes time. It takes effort. Um, like Mary Morant says, slow growth is strong roots. Just take it one email at a time, one freebie at a time. You can do this. And I 10 out of 10 recommend Flowdesk. It is amazing. It's my favorite email platform. I've used other ones. Um, this is definitely by far my favorite one. It's very easy to use. Um, it collects your analytics. Um, you can see all the things here that it offers and you can get 50% off using my link below. So I hope this was beneficial for you. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and collect my free things that I have for you. The checklist, my build your brand workbook, my start your business workbook, and, and all the other things that I have listed below um, there for you so that you can get free stuff free weekly advice from me and join us in the Facebook group, Brittany Bruce Business Coaching for Christian Women in Business. I'd love to see you there. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. I hope this video was beneficial for you and I will see you in the next video.